welcome back to the channel and joining me once again in Truck Driver. I start the video by saying thank you for my, uh, I've had a couple of new subscribers over the last few days. Thanks very much for that, much appreciated. Any new uh, people coming along who has not subscribed, just seen the videos before, uh, consider subscribing so you can keep up with the uh, with the game and uh, obviously when uh, On The Road comes out, which I'm going to mention in a little second, um, I'll be doing some uh, a series on that as well. Uh, but also, I've never asked for it before, but I uh, would appreciate it if um, anyone watching this can just give us a, a a like. Just so it lets YouTube know that uh, you are watching my videos and liking what you see. Uh, that's, I've never asked for anything like that before. I'm not going to ask every single time. Uh, I don't really like doing it. So, uh, But note today, the video, uh, I said I'm going to have a quick mention about the uh, On The Road video game. Um, that's supposed to be coming out on the 11th of February for the uh, console. Um, but today, what we're doing, as a, if you've seen in my other videos, I've started using the steering wheel. My uh, Thrustmaster Ferrari Spider race wheel. The, was it 445 four, five or something like that? 459? Five, can't remember. Anyway, uh, I've been configur configuring it uh, and thinking, because I was having trouble reversing, uh, you know, having to use the brake pedal to reverse, which is just like, just not normal. <laughs> um, what I've done, I've actually, I'm in the Emotion. I'm back in the Emotion. But it's the manual one. Uh, I've upgraded it to the, uh, I think, oh, I'm still indicating. The, uh, was it a 350 engine? So I've upgraded what I can on it. And I've painted this one blue, because so I think the other one was green. So, uh, yeah, what I've got at the moment, I mean, the only thing I've got on my uh, controller is my view to look around. I've got my menu wheel, like you have anyway on the um, on the controller anyway. Uh, I did have it set, so you had to press Y to, like, like we just did there, we were filling up, to fill up and to activate things. But I have noticed the uh, the right thumb pad on my uh, on my wheel, sorry, actually does it as well. Um, my gearing, because it doesn't work on the paddles, I'm just going to go in here and rest as well, just so we make sure it's so that half rest bar. And I don't know why we're stopped here. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! God, bloody hell, that was close. No, don't reverse. <laughs> yeah, because the uh, gear change won't work on the paddles on this, I've got the indicators working on it instead. Um, my gearing, I've got set up as the to shift up on the Y button and to shift down on the uh, X button. My B button on the control on the steering wheel, I keep saying controller, um, is my handbrake, and my A button, my green button, is to um, change the view, like this, that's my view button, and like I said I've still got to look around using the right uh, stick on my controller, so that really isn't a problem. If you notice though, if you're moving the controller around, it's telling me to press Y to sleep, but if I stop, it's telling me to press right on the D-pad, which, it says my engine's on, I thought I'd turn that off, there you go, that's off and we'll sleep. Uh, that is really the only thing that's different. I'm, I'm finding it a lot easier. Um, like I said, just a RB button does the stuff that we do on the controller anyway. Uh, and it's the, the reverse is actually on the accelerator pedal now because if you look at the, at the um, sat nav, I mean, first forward gear you got, second gear. But if I go down below that, that's for reverse. So what I found is as well. What we're doing at the moment, by the way, we're, going to, we're on the way over to um, the timber yard to do a job over there. But um, yeah, when you pull up using the brake, now I've gone the wrong bloody way. I've got to turn around. Right, can I do this? I change this side. They should miss me. <laughs> Oh, you might have noticed as well, my mirrors. Now, I've taken the left hand extra mirror off. Well, that was close. And I'm just using that one. Because it's bigger and it's clearer. 
And what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to use the um, staying cab when I've been parking the trailers. Obviously, when it's when it's daylight, it's a little bit easier than at night because we do need um, we do need a, a reversing light, I think, on this in this game. It will make things easier. And like they have in that on the road, which I'm going to say in a sec, it's um, you can look out that window when you're reversing, which was uh, quite a little cool touch. But regarding on the road, um, I saw a couple of videos, two different ones. One I think is by Game Tech UK. I'm not subscribed to their channel, but I have seen a couple of uh, his videos. Um, basically, he was playing the uh, the game on the Xbox One, the original one, the first one, and the mirrors aren't working on it. Now he reckons it's to do with obviously the power of the system, because the map's bigger this going that going on blah 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 and you've got like the both you've got three mirrors you've got the actual you know screen you're looking out of at the moment going on driving along but you've got the you've got three different mirrors because uh, you've got the left hand one the right hand one and on the on the road you've got a mirror at the front so you can see down the front of your truck um, he reckons that's probably why they've had to turn it down I know he did a stream this afternoon on the Xbox X I think it was and I noticed they didn't have mirrors on there either. But I think the um, Series X and the, oh, the PCs have definitely got it. Um, there is no issues on that. So I'm hoping, he, he said there's no day one patch coming out, which, do you know what? No game should come out with a day one patch anymore. Not in this day and age. I mean, seriously, these things should have been tested before they've been put out for, you know, for sale and what have you. So I know I, I've, I said I wouldn't ever buy uh, a pre-order game again. I learned my lesson with Stranded Deep. But you know what? All the hype of this and the stuff, I caved into it and I did pre-order it. Regretting it now because it, it spoils the game. If you've got no mirrors, it just ruins the game to me. A driving game, especially when you've got reverse bloody trailers. So stupid. They should have told people that. Um, and if it isn't going to change, I'm hoping they're going to refund people that don't want it because. I, for one, right now, don't want it because I can't upgrade my console. I've been looking, you can't get a, a Series X anywhere at the moment by the sound of it. It's really difficult to get all the consoles. And I've seen somewhere that it's not this month, but maybe in two or three months' time, there are going to be uh, more uh, Series X consoles coming out. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't pre ordered it already, don't. Just don't. You'll regret it. Unless you're not bothered by that, you might drive on the outside view all the time. So if that's the case, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I did see another video of a guy. Um, he had no mirrors. I don't know what console he was on. I don't know if he was on the original Xbox or the S. But he had no mirrors. The only issue he had that I saw, and this bloody traffic's getting worse, um, was as you're driving along in the distance, you just see vehicles like drop about two or three foot above the road, onto the road. Which, all right, it's not a major thing, but it's still a little bit off-putting. And I'm not being funny, but for £25 here in the UK, I think, in all honesty, the condition that game's in, I, it's not worth it. I really just don't think it's worth it. So anyone going to think of a pre-order it before it, get, it comes out, don't. Just don't. Um, hopefully they'll sort something out, because SnowRunner came out. When that came out on the Xbox, that had no mirrors working, and they have now. So hopefully they can fix it, or some will find a way around it. All right. Right, so Ray, I'm not going to say any more about that. Um, but here we are at the timber yard, and we'll see what job he's got for us. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do uh, as much as I can. As long as you join a day, I'm going to see if I can park it in cab. So let's see what jobs he's got. We've got a medium. I've got to keep remembering to press the button to start as well because I did try and do a, a I was messing around earlier on just setting up a wheel um, and I was sat here for like two minutes thinking why not starting <laughs> I didn't realise that um, I hadn't pressed the button so I thought oh bloody hell games froze but oh no no not reverse yeah games froze so uh, but it hadn't it was me <laughs> right but I'm finding like I said taking that left mirror out I find it a little bit easier and like you said with the uh, gears alright it slows you down a bit but I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that if anything I think it's improved 
with gaming uh, on here, you know, and playing with this wheel and stuff. And it, do you know what? It's actually made it a little bit more enjoyable. Plus, I'm using the accelerator to, ex you know, to, to, like in a normal vehicle. So, I'm happy with that. Right, let's connect the trailer up. And we've got to go 3.9 miles. Right, shall we turn the wipers on? It's not raining that much, but I'll put them on. And I said, all I'm doing, right thumbstick. It is not really that much of an issue. It really isn't. The, oh, apart from remember to put it into forward gears. <laughs> right, let me know in the comments. Uh, do any of you guys who use a wheel on this, do you actually play it in auto? You know, automatic gearing, or do you use the manual? I quite like the manual in this. I mean, this is in the first gear you can use, second gear, and that's the maximum speed you're going to get. So they do actually, they actually work. And what I did try um, when I was messing around with it, I was trying to use my gears to slow down. Um, I think they do actually slow you down. I honestly do. I might be wrong, but to me they did. Um, because that's how you're supposed to drive. I don't care what these uh, driving instructors tell these people now who are learning to drive. Uh, I mean, my daughter was told at one point, don't, you don't use your gears, you just use your brakes to slow down. Absolute stupid advice. Whoever came up with that, as far as I'm concerned, is a complete muppet. Probably sat in an office somewhere, shining a seat with their asses, coming up with these stupid things, because you need to slow the engine down. The engine is the thing that is pushing or pulling you along. So you need to um, you need to slow that engine down, and just by using your brakes isn't going to do it. So it's very unsafe in real life, and I just want to try it in this. And now we're stuck. The only way I can beat my horn is the left thumbstick. I don't know if there's anything behind us. I can't really see. Let's put it in reverse and just see if I annoy anybody. Right now. First, first forward gear, second gear. Can we get past him without clouting him? I think we can. Yes, these guys can just sit there and stare at each other all day. <laughs> I got places to be. All right, as per normal, I'll catch up with you when I'm at our destination. The only thing I'm struggling with right now is just remember to change gear. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Far from a destination now, just down here somewhere. I am finding it a lot easier oh, with my steering wheel now. Um, I know one of my comments said in my, from one of my other videos um, 
that he, this guy, he said he used a laptop stand or something. Now, I used to have a laptop, uh, not a laptop, a uh, computer desk. And I thought oh, that might come in handy, but I actually sold it last year at some point. Uh, so I haven't got it anymore. Um, and it wants to the other... Whoa! I wasn't really paying attention there. Right. <laughs> Let's get ourselves off that off that um, barrier. We crumpled it. That'd be nice if you could crumple the barriers, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I'm not going to try it. Um, yeah, I sold that one, but uh, I was, the other day, my uh, other half, my missus, turned around and said to me that I had a computer desk that I was using in the garage for summit. And she said, have I still got it? And I did. So what I've done, I've brought it in, and it's a, it's not a cheapy one either. Um, it's quite a heavy one as well. So I've set me a steering wheel up on that, and my pedals are underneath, and they're not going anywhere. Um, yeah, and it's working fine at the minute. If you can hear any creaking, that is actually my steering wheel, not the actual straight ahead. Yeah. And we've got a... Uh, yeah, we've got to reverse that in. Um, yeah, so it seems to be working all right at the minute. So I'm really chuffed with that. Because I was looking at some of the other... Um, you know, the wheel stands and stuff. And some of them were just so stupidly priced as far as I was concerned. It just really was like a joke and like some of the reviews I think I've said before look this is the only thing I don't like at the moment like these mirrors you can't really see out of that one and the mirror that's on the right hand side now you can't really see because the you know the parking the trailer accuracy things in the way so I've really I am a bit miffed at that because you can't see what you're doing properly and I think I'm going the wrong bloody way ain't I yeah I am clown what am I doing it's cost I'm trying to find a better way to look past that mirror <sighs> right try that again reverse Yeah, you can't really see where you're going. And I know there's a a lamppost or something here. I don't know if I'm gonna hit it, because like I said, you cut that that mirror is so small, or am I gonna miss it? I honestly don't know. Well, I think I'm gonna have to straighten up in a minute. Yeah, like I said, the mirrors are too small. They really are too small. Right, what I'll do, I'll straighten up here. I, could, I should have been able to do this straight away, to be honest. I really should. I mean, some other people might be able to do it. I don't know. I can't. I'm learning. Right. So, let's see if we can get me our send round here. I can see the the parking spot just in the left hand mirror. Now this is what I liked about the look of on the road. Because you could look out the, uh, this, this window and see a lot better. That, that's really good, I like that. I wish they had that in here. And again, I'd like to see... Um, I'd like to see a reversing light in this game as well for your for your stuff because it is just so difficult when it's dark to see anything. I mean, you guys are probably having a laugh at my reversing with this, but I'm struggling to see the right-hand mirror. It's just it's just terrible. It really is terrible. Plus the fact I probably had my uh, my my thing too far over the. Uh, my view but yeah any other you guys like I said do you use the uh, inside view to, to park and what have you because like I said and do you use these mirrors I mean because like I said if you actually look out of the mirror the proper door mirror you can't see sod all it's just too small it's a shame you can't enlarge it or um, zoom into it a bit more 
Right, I'm going off again, aren't I? I might give up in a minute and just park it normally. Look, I have been. <laughs> I've been practicing with this and I've been doing all right. This is the first time I've done it video myself and. Nope. I made a balls up of that. Right, one more. One more reverse and then I'm just going to go outside cab and do it. I'm trying to keep an eye on my... Nah, that's on it. Let's go out and see how far out we actually are. Oh, really, we're not that... Oh, we're a little bit over on the back there. So we're fairly close. I mean, I have had a comment on one of my videos. Um, it won't be nasty. But he was saying about, you know, how the different view, he doesn't play like that. There's a better view going outside. I get it, I do get it, you can play like that if you want. But I changed this video, the, 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 um, the views for the video to make it a little bit more interesting. I do know how to drive, I've been driving long enough, I've been driving for like 35 odd years. So uh, yeah, and I've been driving big lorries and stuff like that as well when I was you know, a bit younger. But um, yeah, <coughs> I get it, but not everybody wants to play like that. So. But now everyone's entitled to their opinion, and I appreciate his comment. But uh, yeah, anyone thinks about, you know, oh, you could do it easier. Yeah, you probably could, but I'm just trying to make this video interesting, that's all. Right, 914 cash, 800 XP. What a pig that was. <laughs> right, uh, what I'm going to have to do is go and rest. What have we got? Not there. Hazard lights type 1. Back in cab. So we've unlocked, yeah, because look, I'm actually going to need to repair my truck, actually. So I'll get back to you in a sec. Once I've repaired my truck, and I've had a sleep by the look of it, and we'll go and do one more job. So we're back in a bit. Alright. Repaired the truck. I refilled and I slept before we left. And what I'm doing, I've just come down to the construction yard. Is it Andre? Andre Funar. Let's see what job he's got for us. I said we're making some money now. I mean, I've got 25,927 in cash and 57,849 in XP. All right, hang on. I'll stop here. Get the jobs up. So, yeah, I've got a bit of money saved up. It's only a short distance one, this. I'm assuming oh, the tray is probably going to be in front of us. Yep, there it is. So let's go and get that. The gearing does actually work to the stage that, you know, obviously if you're in too high a gear, you're pulling away really, really slow. So it's quite cool. I do like that. Just got to remember, like I said, if you're using the wheel and using your pedals and using it properly on manual gears you just got to remember to put it to reverse instead of just pushing the pedal I'm pushing the accelerator pedal but I, I still forget oh, I still forget to uh, put it into reverse gear right let's connect that up and we've got three miles to go so I think what I'm going to do on this one I'm going to fast forward this one so, I'll catch up with you again when we get to our destination, so enjoy the ride.
right, we're not far from our destination now. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can get this dropped off, and we've made a bit more money. I said, I don't know when the uh, the new update or DLC is coming for this game. I don't know if anyone uh, can let me know in the comments if they've seen anything. I said I, I, I do watch some of the Sadesco stuff they put out. Um, not all of them, I must admit, because they usually save the truck drivers to the end of their weekly thing they do. Um, and I said I'm not really interested in the other games they've got. I'm really not. Not my style of game. So, uh, yeah, I, I think sometimes I get put off by because they keep going on about those more than anything else. Um, but, yeah, if anyone else knows anything about it if they've mentioned anything let me know in the comments it should be interesting and I said I still think these roadworks here are something to do with uh, expansion and what have you I honestly do oh wrong whoa, 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 whoa. I was in the wrong gear well, let's get this parked up and then uh, I'll end it there let's turn these wipers off It does help, like I said, these gears, it does, they do actually work, depending on where you are on the road. Look, I'm struggling to get up the hill now. So, I do like it. It has made my game more enjoyable, I think, playing like this. And at the moment, unless uh, they do fix on the road, I mean, I've not even had it yet. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll be playing this a lot more still. Until they fix it. Right, I am going to come out of cab on this one, because I messed about. Unless... Unless it isn't that bad, we'll have another go, but we'll see. But let me know in the comments again. Do you have, you know, if you drive using a manual truck or... Or what? It'd be interesting to know how many people do. So I think a lot of people just play it, um... Oh, that's straightforward, isn't it? Um, just play it with automatic gears. So, uh, and as far as I know, the on-the-roads hasn't got any manual gear in. So I think that's all automatic. Which is a little bit disappointing, but I mean, it's a good base game to start with I suppose it's just uh, something to work on so I thought I had 100% then there you go right let's see what we get for that me is typing what am I typing oh come on, see if we want more work I thought it was going to ask us to do something else then <laughs> 788, 788 cash and 750 XP. Right, I'm going to end the video there. Oh, what we've got? The horn is now available. Right, okay. I thought we had a horn. But yeah, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a bit of whip waffly. Um, I said I just want to say a little bit about the uh, the new on the road game. Um, like I said, disappointing. But hopefully it will get sorted before it comes out. Um, Again, thanks for my new subscribers and appreciate it. If uh, people could just like give the video a bit of a like and uh, a few more subscribes would be great. Just to let you know, if you're enjoying the videos, brilliant. It just lets uh, YouTube know that you know people want to watch my videos. Uh, even more uh, people have already subscribed. Just you know, appreciate it. If you just give the video a like, it just lets them know. So uh, thanks again for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, apologies if it was uh, I did waffle on a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm going to make another one shortly, so uh, see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.